said, I know this wasn't the, the outcome anybody wanted from this game, but at the same time, can you take something away from facing some adversity and seeing how your team uh, fought literally through this whole thing? Yeah, I mean, uh, we competed hard. Um, you know, usually with effort like that, you're rewarded. Uh, wasn't the case tonight, but we, we battled hard, you know, right from from case all the way out. Um, you know, D, the forwards, you know, I think uh, we competed hard and gave ourselves a chance. And unfortunately, uh, it didn't go our way, but uh, it was pretty, pretty tight and intense hockey game. And, um, you know, back to back games like that, um, our effort was good. We just didn't, uh, we didn't get enough done. Seth? Uh, said, what's different when you're missing your number two, number three centers, uh, specifically for the rest of the centers that are still in the lineup? Just what's the challenge of, of playing a game in such conditions, I guess? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, you'd probably have to ask uh, Mike that question a little bit more. I mean, as far as, you know, line changes and things, when you're down guys, you try to keep them short, um, you know, allow everyone to stay fresh and get involved in the game. Um, that's going to happen naturally when you're down guys. But I think, you know, especially, you know, when you get long change and you're down guys, you just don't want to get caught out there tired. So um, that's kind of a point of emphasis. But for the most part, uh, your job doesn't change when you go out there. You got to go out there and get momentum and, and create. Matt Ventil. Sid, what's your reaction to Brandon Tanev's hit and that penalty? And then also, what kind of explanation did you receive at all for why that was a five minute penalty? Um, you know what? I haven't, I haven't seen it a ton. I saw one quick replay. I didn't think he had any intent there. Um, I hope Tenorti's okay. He went in pretty awkward, but I don't think there was any intent. I thought he, you know, he hit him clean. He hit him, uh, you know, timely as far as the puck being there. Um, he did go in awkwardly, so, uh, you never like to see that, but I, you know, I didn't think that it, it warranted a five minute, um, you know, the refs are out there. They're trying to protect us and keep us safe. I get it. I can, I can see them trying to do that, but um, I, didn't, I didn't see it that way. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, we had to go down. We got a big kill there, but I hope he's okay. And I uh, hope his players, we can get some clarity on what, what's a good hit and what's not. I mean, it's, uh, it's tough to really gauge when you're out there. I know it's fast, but um, right now it's, it's really hard to, to know what, what is in fact clean and what's not. And when you're out there playing, it's, it's important that you do know that. Rob Rossi. Follow up on that. I, I know there's frustration amongst players across the league about what is and isn't a clean hit. Does it factor in at all when to, to, to more or less frustration when you see the refs take a look at it and and it, there just doesn't seem to be even consistency, even after they look at it with an in-game decision like that one. Yeah, I mean, I, again, you know, if they're going to err on the side of, of protecting us, I don't think I'm ever going to argue that as a player, you know, especially with with uh, Tenorti being hurt and, uh, you know, see him going awkwardly. I get it. Um, it's just, it's, it's understanding that. And I think, you know, you see some hits throughout the league, especially, um, you know, in the first half of the season here. And, it's it's hard as a player to know, you know, we look at a hit and we think, oh, that's a suspension and it's not, or we think it's a penalty and it's not. And then you see a hit, hit like that, you don't expect a five minute major and it ends up being one. So, um, you know, I, I think it's just, it seems like it's a little gray right now. And, um, you know, again, I'm, I'm never gonna argue with them protecting us because I think that's what they're trying to do. But, um, you know, I, I think it's important that we that we understand that. Take a few more, Mike Pursuta. Sid, when you're facing a goaltender making his first start, is there much in-game communication either on the bench or between periods about, you know, what to do, how to attack him, or do you just trust the scouting report and fire away? Yeah, I mean, I think it's important to have those habits, you know, throughout the year, no matter who you're playing against. Um, you know, those are things that are going to create opportunities. You know, first, second, third opportunities are on the net. Um, if there's tendencies, I think, you know, you're always – you know, in the loop as far as being aware of them. But for the most part, I think uh, what you need to do doesn't really change a whole lot. And that's that's why you practice it so much. So, um, you know, I thought we did a pretty good job of getting pucks to the net. They competed really hard in front. And and uh, we had some second looks. He made some saves. I mean, it was a good hockey game both ways. You know, both teams didn't give up. 
a ton, and when they did, the goalies made some saves. So uh, it really kind of had a playoff playoff feel to it. Last one, Jim Colony. Yeah, Sid, what's the mood like? Gino's been playing so well, and then he goes down early, he tries to come back, and then can't continue. What's the mood like among the rest of you guys? Throughout the game? Yeah. I mean, how do you – whether you know he's coming back or not, when it became evident that he wasn't coming back, and just to have you know that happen to him when he's playing as well as he has. Yeah, I mean, nobody likes to see that. I think uh... – you know, guys that are stepping in are just trying to go out there in one shift at a time. Um, we don't know, you know, at that point, uh, whether it's going to be the rest of the game or the rest of the period or a couple shifts. So I think you're just trying to push and, and make sure that, uh, you know, whoever's out there sets up the next line for a good shift. Um, you know, we end up getting a big kill there late in the period, so we had some momentum. Um, but I think uh, you never like seeing any teammate get hurt and, and leave the game, but you want to go out there and, and do a job and, and get a win for him. So uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to do that.